Play ball! Welcome to Ryan Waters Sports Drive. This is Rob Johnson, UBC Okanagan Director of Athletics and Recreation. Hey, this is Brad Ray Marsh, your all-star quarterback from the BC Lions, and you're listening to Ryan Waters. Hi, I'm Luke Shen, and you're listening to the Ryan Waters Sports Drive. Now, here's your host, Ryan Waters. Joining us via the on-air hotline, Stephen Dogie from the Okanagan Sun, just recently named the Canadian Junior Football League Defensive MVP for the 2011 season. Steve, what does an award like that mean to you? It's an honor getting the award. It means I've... Uh... Worked pretty hard during the season, and I guess I deserve it. <laughs> well, absolutely you do. Is it bittersweet because the outcome of the season for the team wasn't what you had hoped for? Yeah, it's definitely a plus to get out of the year. team didn't do as good as I would have hoped, so at least I performed. <laughs> how do you think you played? You think you, you deserve the award, obviously, but how do you think you played this season? Well, I think I played pretty good. I think I could have played better if I, uh, if I didn't have any back problems, but they're fixed now. So, hmm. Do you feel you improved from last year? Yeah, I feel like I improved. I gained some weight and my speed stayed about the same, but I think this year I'll be bigger and better. I want to ask you about your speed, because that's one of your biggest weapons. Does speed run in the Dogie family? It does with me and my brother. <laughs> He's taking the other end of things going to the MMA, but... You guys have yeah. races back and forth, or what? <laughs> He's more faster with his hands and I'm faster on my feet. <laughs> All right. Uh, where did you get your love for football? Pretty much high school. Pete McCall got me into it, and he taught me the, taught me the sport, and uh, ever since then, kind of just like playing it. Mm-hmm. I heard a funny story when you were at the uh, CJFL's banquet and you won the defensive MVP. They gave you a ring, but you actually didn't take it out of the box and look at it until you got back to your seat and someone asked you, what does it look like? Why didn't you look at it when you first got it? I don't know. <laughs> didn't figure it was that important to look right away because it looked whenever. Where's the ring now? Uh, it's just in my drawer at home. <laughs> you think you'll wear it? No, a special occasion. <laughs> All right. Your play in the last three seasons has drawn some attention from other organizations at higher levels. Can you share who maybe you've chatted with? Talked to quite a few like people in the CIS. I don't know. Depends. I don't really know what I'm want to do yet. So probably play another year at the Sun, but who knows? So you are returning to the Sun, and and what are you going to do in the off season? Uh, I'm hoping to gain 20 pounds and come back faster, bigger. Why do you want to put on more weight? Higher levels, you need to be heavier. Mm-hmm. CFL. Yeah. I'd like to kind of make the jump to there, and you need you need to be heavier. Could you switch positions in the CFL? If a CFL team called and said, hey, could you be a linebacker, would you be up for that? Yeah, I don't think I'd <laughs> deny an offer to the CFL. So. Steve, you may be soft-spoken here on the phone, but there is nothing soft about your game. You are the best defensive player in Canada as far as junior ranks go. Congratulations, and thanks so much for doing this. We'll talk soon. Yeah, no problem. Your local sports authority is the Ryan Waters Sports Drive.